National Diabetes Awareness Month, World Diabetes Day, so we're raising awareness to diabetes, the difference between type 1, type 2, um, general fundraising, having a bit of fun in our onesies. You got some in there, I can hear it actually already. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm having a like raising my numbers. Um, I might just be extremely excited. More likely. I'm just probably excited. Oh, Are you? No. Oh dear. I'm a type onesie having a hypo. <laughs> Have you got on you? <laughs> I've got some drinks. I'm Dave Beats, I'm Head of Security for the Meridian Shopping Centre. Um, been here 17 years and got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes about a year, year and a half ago. Uh, my name's Steve Owen, I'm 37 years old and yeah. I've been type 1 since June 97. Um, I'm Susie, I'm here with my husband Steve who is type 1 diabetes. Um, my name's Laura and I've had type 1 diabetes for 12 years, I was diagnosed when I was 16 years old. Um, I'm Aileen Winchcombe and I'm 12 at the moment. I got diabetes in 2010. I'm Jane Winchcombe and I'm here because my daughter Amy is type 1 diabetic. Um, the first injection that I did at home took two hours to do. I was going into like hyperventilating and I ended up having three adults trying to help me. I was like, no, I'm doing it myself. Um, so it was devastating, really. But um, she's an amazing girl and she's learnt to cope with it and four months ago she got an insulin pump. Um, the pump makes it like so much easier because I'm only having to do a cannula every three days. So it's just like one needle in comparison to 12. It's a lot less. It's by the like. I can't remember the whole incidences leading up, leading up to going to the doctors, but he tested me and my sugar levels were something like about 33.3. And so um, he said, well, you're going to be a type 1 diabetic, you're going to have to start your injections today. It was, um, it was just hypos regularly and it was like... Um, during the night and you know mm. don't, nobody getting any sleep and it's it come to some stages where it's like I didn't know what to do about it and there was a few times like having to call paramedics. I didn't know about diabetes and hopefully today I'm going to be teaching people and raising money for research and everything to so people are more aware of it. Um, I was taking six to eight injections a day. My blood sugars were very high. I was taking injections, they were dropping too low and then bouncing back up and everything was very erratic and it made me quite emotional because I felt that I couldn't manage my diabetes properly. Um, and then getting my pump, it just gave me some of the power back and some of the control and it helped me just to get on with my life and not to worry about whether my levels are too high or too low because the pump has really steadied them out. It's good. Big shock to the system. Uh, complete life changing routine for food, obviously meds. Got to keep it doing every day for the rest of my life unless they find a cure. So what does it mean to you that you know one day there may be a cure or at least improved treatment? Oh, there'll be a hell of a lot. Hopefully if there's less reason for people to have to stick insulin in them or if there's an artificial pancreas, reversing diabetes, who knows if it'll ever happen. But, um, 
hopefully raising money is going to provide a lifeline for people in the future or hopefully sooner than that. Yeah. Um, we've been funding research for many, many years. Um, we've seen some advances with our own research funding in the provision of an Isla isolation facility in Oxford. Uh, the National Health Service and Department of Health recognised that that could be a potential new treatment and decided to find funding for islet transplants for people with type 1. Um, so we've seen that happen in our lifetime, in our short 15 years. You're a young person. What would it mean to you if there was a, a cure found? It would be amazing. Um, it would mean everything because it would mean that I could just go out in the morning and not have to think about what's going to happen during the day. I wouldn't have to plan for hypos, I wouldn't have to plan to take extra insulin with me, extra supplies. Um, it would mean that I wouldn't have to worry about doctor's appointments, hospital appointments, complications later on in life. Um, it would just mean that I mean, what I do now, I don't feel that it impacts on my life hugely because I don't really notice it anymore. But it would just be nice to just not have diabetes at some times. Um, it would mean a lot. Yeah. Who can say when a cure might come? But we have to continue working towards that. And I think the hope for people with diabetes comes through coming together and working together as a group like this to raise awareness, to raise money and continue funding that research. DRWF and the support of other people with diabetes and their friends and family means a lot to me. It's really great to have emotional support from people who really, really understand what you're going through. At the end of the day, if they can find a cure, brilliant.